this video will show you how to create the zeros and crosses stitch, which is made up of mostly double crochet and just with some clever placement, some skip stitches to create this really cool um, texture with some eyelets. You can create zeros and crosses with any multiple of two plus one for the stitch count on your rows. To get started, you're also going to need a three chain base. So I've got 12 stitches here. We've got, um, so that's a multiple of two plus one plus three so we can work in that turning chain. So we're gonna begin by working into the sixth chain from the hook. Three, four, five, and six. And ultimately, this is going to count as your first stitch on the end there, that turning chain. And we are going to work a double crochet into that sixth stitch. Next, we're gonna chain one. We're gonna skip a chain and then double crochet into the next. And we'll do that across the row. I've just made a small swatch here to show you the four row repeat. And your last stitch will be a double crochet. That's just double crochet, chain one, skip one, across. Once we're done with row one, we're going to chain three again. And we're first going to skip this chain space. What makes up the crosses are um, crossed double crochets here. So we're going to work a double crochet, not in the first chain space, but the second one here. Then we're going to create another double crochet, but we're going to work it behind this one and into this first chain space that we initially skipped. So I'm going to bring my hook around, pull up a loop, but make sure you keep it back behind that stitch. And then finish out that double crochet. And then we'll continue. We're just going to work those cross stitches over the posts of the double crochets below. So we're gonna work into the next one here. And then go back and make another one. You're essentially then like wrapping those two double crochets around this post, which gives us that little cross look. I'm gonna do that. And end with a double crochet into the turning chain. For our next row, we'll start with just a chain one and we're gonna double crochet into each of those stitches. Just to kind of even out that fabric and make those crosses pop out when this swatch is laying flat. It's a pretty simple repeat and the impact is pretty awesome. I could imagine any manner of things being made with this motif, but a sweater would be really cool, like a lightweight summer sweater. And then our final row before we just focus on repeats is a chain four, which is gonna count as that first double crochet chain one. And we are going to skip these first two stitches 
work a double crochet, chain one, skip one, double crochet, chain, skip, double crochet, chain, skip, and work into the final stitch. Then from there, you can just repeat rows two through four.